All right, that is not a good start to the day. It's the first time I think I've gone to that store in a long time and actually been blanked. So the search continues, I guess. Head right over now. What is going on guys? Welcome to this episode of the pickups. Uh, today, let's see what we do. We got, we got a couple pickups, but really for Christmas, I got a $25 gift card to GameStop and a $25 eBay gift card. So we spent those. So that's going to be the bulk of the pickup video. I'm going to show you what I spent my gift cards on, which is always exciting. I love gift cards. The thing is like with gift cards, especially like eBay, is I'm like, well, I need this for the game room. And I flip through and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to pay that. I need a manual for this game. Yeah, I don't know if I, like I spent like three hours yesterday on eBay trying to spend $25. So I think I got some good stuff. I got a useful item and then something that I wanted to add to the collection. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. But first, got a uh, sort of a donation, I guess. Guy on my dart team that found us Need for Speed last time. Found a copy of Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen Autobots for the Nintendo DS. That's not gonna focus, maybe it'll focus now. Focus. Anyway, Transformers for DS. Thought that was cool. And what's really kind of awesome about uh, loose disc DS games sometimes is eventually you're gonna come across the case at a thrift store where somebody's stolen the game and maybe they give you the case and the manual in there for free. So, hey, we're optimistic that one day we will find the case and manual for that. And I love Transformers. All right, so let's just start with my $25 GameStop gift card. $25 makes you holla. Remember, does anybody remember when Scott Steiner used to do the holla, holla or whatever? No, that was a Teddy Long. Never mind, it's a wrestling thing. Scott Steiner used to do holla if you hear me. <laughs> Maybe we can splicey splicey. Anyway, I've been looking for this game for a while. Uh, I, I don't see it out in the wild a lot. Online, you can find them for about 15 bucks. And uh, it's an awesome game that I can't wait to stream. But it is Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. We got that for $9. Now, if you haven't used the GameStop app, I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, you know, you can look up trade values and pre-orders and stuff like that. But one of the really cool things that you can do on that app is uh, you can... Um, look up stores within a certain mile radius that have games that you're looking for. It'll tell you if they have them new or used, and then you can actually pre-order them or hold them or whatever. Um, reserve them, I guess is the right word. You can reserve them on the app and then go pick it up. This was actually at a store that was close to my work, and they had one copy used, and then there was another store that had one copy used, but it was like 50 miles away. So glad to, glad to be able to go and pick that up Wednesday after work, which is awesome. There are actually uh, four physically released pinball uh, games for the PS4 Pinball Arcade collections, I guess. This one's made by Zen Studios. They do a lot of fantasy tables like um, Aliens vs. Predator, Back to the Future, Jaws, that kind of stuff. But there is a Pinball Arcade Season 1, which was released in North America. Pinball Arcade Season 2, which as you can see is a PAL game. And then uh, Stern Pinball Arcade, which is getting a little bit harder to find because it's got the Ghostbusters table on there. So. If you're into digitized pinball, I definitely recommend picking up those games. And that's because, uh, you know, Farsight Studio lost the license with Gottlieb and Williams, so they will not no longer be making those pinball arcade collections. I'm kind of thinking that maybe in the future, Williams and Gottlieb and, you know, Stern, they may want to make their own games, but I don't know if they can make those games as good as, you know, what Farsight Studio did, because those collections are awesome. Another game I was looking for, went to uh, my Dart League, and, um, Stopped by a GameStop just to kind of see what they had. I think this was like eight or nine bucks as well. But that's a game I've been looking for. Like I said, Mad Max. Watched Uncle Strange play some of it. I want to say Roaming Dan or Video Game Collector. You know, a couple of the guys that are in our, our, our super group, our super community group, were playing this game. So I was like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'll pick it up if I find it cheap, which I did. So that was awesome. While I was there, I was looking through their clearance bin. Now, I didn't see uh, the two for 20 
$14.99 or under. I just saw two for 20, so I started whipping through them. And I found these two games, I went up to the counter, and she was like, oh yeah, it's like $32. And I'm like, well, I thought they were two for 20. And she's like, well, if they're under $14.99. So I was like, well, let me go back and look. So I go back and look, and all they had left were the games that weren't included in the deal or sports games that were seven or eight ninety nine anyway. So I was like, listen, there's, there aren't any games in there that are $14.99 or under, so I guess I'll just take these. So I burnt the rest of my $12 or whatever I had left on my uh, gift card. Got some games here that were, again, we're gonna add these to the backlog, but another game that Uncle Strange was playing, absolutely love this game, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, it's a game I was looking for for PS2, but I was on the fence about, should I get it for PS2, should I get it for PS4? Because really at about 15 or 18 bucks, they're about the same price, so I thought I'll get the, uh, the PS4 version, a little bit more upgraded. And the second game that I got, um, out of the bin was again I had my eye on this game for a while I didn't really know what to make of it but it's prison architect but I don't ever see it anymore so um, I wanted to make sure I got a copy before they got on eBay and got way too expensive um, I don't think it's like super rare or anything it's just I don't, I don't know how many copies of this they made because these are the type of games where it's like sort of a niche market and you don't really know how many copies of the game they made but consolation prize we went up to the counter to pay and she said hey we're getting rid of all these uh, playing cards and we're getting rid of these uh, Funko Pops or whatever. Do you want one for free? And I'm like, yeah, sure. They didn't have any characters from any games or series that I watch or know of. So I picked the only one that, that was somewhat familiar. We got South Park uh, Mysterion vinyl figure, but uh, we got that for free. So that'll go in the trade pile or doubles bin because I don't collect Funko Pops. You know, it looks really good up there. We might just keep it up there. So, as you saw in the footage on Monday was sort of a bust. We went, I didn't pick up anything on Monday. I went to my usual uh, thrift store places, nothing, zero. I got blanked. That was the first time I got blanked on a day of thrifting. God, I, I, I don't remember how long it's been since I actually didn't pick up anything. And I, I'm talking, I go to like, in a three hour period, I, I hit a half price books. I maybe hit two or three Goodwills. Uh, two or three Ohio thrift stores, a couple pawn shops, a value thrift, you know, that kind of stuff. So a couple a couple of Lev's pawn shops. I may go to eight to 10 places, buyback, I hit up buybacks, uh, VGMX, you know, video game music exchange store. So I may hit up 10 or 12 places in a three or four hour time period. I didn't find anything. But I was at that GameStop picking up the, uh, the Marvel pinball game. Like I said, Wednesday after work, the thrift store that I usually go to is right across the street. So. It's a no-brainer, you're gonna go in there and stop. Found one thing, here's the footage. Yeah, so we walk in there just on a Wednesday random and um, picked up a very cool copy of The Legend of Zelda, the collector's edition. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, I actually played through this already twice as uh, Legend of Zelda 2 is my favorite game, complete with a memory card. So whoever I trade or sell this to is gonna have my CM Retro game data on there. But I took it to the register and uh, it only said B for blue tag. And uh, I know the guy that works there, so I was like, hey man, I haven't seen you in a while, man, blah, blah, blah. So I shoot the shit, he's like, oh, I'm all right, you know. And uh, he goes, it's gonna have a price on it, buck 50. I'm like, yep, sounds good. So he sold me Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition with a memory card for one dollar and fifty cents so that'll be a nice recouper i do need to clean the case a little bit you can see it's kind of got some muck on there some sticker residue but other than that that game still goes for like 35 40 bucks i remember when this is a really expensive game like it was going for like 70 bucks so i leave that thrift store and i'm feeling good right you find something you feel good make a right on the street heading back home i know there's a goodwill i'm like hey man they just move their entire games and DVD section to like the other end of the store. So somebody going in there that isn't experienced, you know, they may not know. So I went in there, looked through some of their games, um, found this one. This is the only one I found. So for $3, we picked up a copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the original Xbox. Got our receipt in there, but it is complete. Not bad condition, belong to Nick. So Nick, we got your game, bro.
Okay, so before I show you what I got off of the Ebays, it's been a couple days, I had to wait for this package to come in, but uh, got our Dart League, found us some more DS games while he was cleaning cars out. We got uh, Tony Hawk's Motion. I don't know if that one's any good. I didn't spend a lot of time playing the DS, you know, the Mario games and whatnot, but after that, not really anything. Uh, Beyblade Metal Fusion. That's not gonna work. It's Beyblade Metal Fusion. So that's awesome. So more DS games for the collection. All right. So the first package that we got, I already opened this up. I ordered it from uh, Retro Protection. I was looking, I've been picking up a lot of Super Nintendo games lately. Um, this past year, I picked up a bunch of Super Nintendo games that I didn't have. And um, you know, you wanna keep them nice, stuff like that. But I didn't wanna spend the money to buy the, the hard plastic ones. So I thought, hey, we'll get, uh, 100 Super Nintendo, these are like penny bags, I guess you would call them, but uh, they're real soft shell sleeves that you put your game in. So I'm actually gonna do a review on those, so stay tuned for that. But uh, I was really happy to find this game. The guy wanted, I think, $18 for it, and uh, it was open to offer, so I was like, hey, how about 15 bucks? He hit me at $17 or something, and I hit him at, no, he hit me at $16.95. And then I finally hit him at like 16 and he accepted it. So I paid right away. It's not a game that I see a, a lot. Um, I see it actually more on the Xbox and the PS2 than I do the GameCube. And I never see it complete. But that is a nice copy of Teen Titans for the GameCube collection. We're getting kind of down to the nitty gritty when it comes to GameCube. Um, I'm really only looking for Ikaruga now. And then some of those super high end titles like Cubivore and Gotcha Force. But uh, definitely happy to add this to the collection. Like I said, it is complete. So I left the seller uh, positive feedback. But uh, if you've never played this game, it's sort of like the Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. It's kind of like that perspective. It's a beat em up sort of in that same vein, but very cool. And I really love the animation style on it. So happy to add this one to the collection and to get it for about $10 cheaper than what it's typically going for on the eBay. So, Guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you've been picking up, what you spent your Christmas gift cards on. Leave a comment down below. And as always, we will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.